Okay. Um, how many of you are getting a real close view here at the end of the wrap-up of the session here where you might be on this chart? All right, thinking about it, here's the thing. Let's talk about who works well together and what combinations of colors work good in closing. Yellows and greens work well together. They have a lot of similarities. Yellows and blues work good. They're both open people. They get along real well. Reds and greens do that as well, as so does uh, blues and reds uh, too. So anything that, that works like that. Where we have challenges, okay, where we have some, some issues sometimes, is when we work cross colors. Where greens work with blues and then reds work with yellows. You know what we do there? We get married. <laughs> That's what we do. We get, we get married there. Remember that thing that says opposites attract? It's not tall and short. It's not fat and skinny. It's, it's these colors. Right? It's, it's that a red needs a follower because they're the leader. And a yellow needs a leader because they're willing to follow. They need to follow. Now that's not to say that yellow, oh, listen, please understand, that's not to say that yellows are weak. How many of you have ever heard the strong silent type? That's where a yellow comes in. A yellow and a red get together and what will happen is a yellow will say, I'd like to sit down. And a red says, no, nope, we're not sitting. I made the decision, we're not sitting. And a yellow will not argue. They, they, won't, they won't verbalize. Right? They, they, they won't argue, they don't want conflict. So a yellow simply sits down. And it will drive a red crazy. Why? Because a red wants to communicate and say, no, this is why we're not going to sit down, and you shouldn't sit down, there's no way. And, but the red is really just wants to be right, but isn't really convinced they're right, so they'll give up the argument because the yellows have a no part of conflict. The yellow will just sit there and wait it out, and pretty soon the red just sits down. <laughs> and now the yellow has peace. <laughs> right? Which is what they wanted in the first place. Okay? Uh, greens and blues, I live this every day. Okay? Again, uh, this is something I... One of, the things that, um, one of the things that I can't do, I like freedom, Cindy likes structure. Right? And so I can't go to Cindy and, and tell her, hey, we're going to go to New York for the weekend. That'll freak her out because she's thinking all kinds of thoughts about the kids and about everything else. Well, how are we going to take it? So when we do something, I know this fact. So what I do is I go to Cindy and say, hey, Cindy, guess what? Um, I got Barb to come over and pick up the kids after school uh, on Friday because we're going to jump on an airplane. We're going to go to New York because I got tickets to Jersey Boys on Friday night. And then we're going to stay over at the Sheraton and, and then uh, right there on Times Square. And then the next day we'll go shopping on Times Square and stuff. Maybe we'll go out and see the Statue of Liberty and then we'll come back because... I got tickets for Wicked on Saturday night. That's a, the play that you wanted to see on Broadway. And then we'll, uh, we'll stay overnight again at the Sheraton. And then we come back, join, jump on a plane in the morning, and we get back into Milwaukee like at 1.34. Something like that. <laughs> so it should be a good weekend. And from there, I'm a hero there. Right now, listen, for me, would I just as soon go to New York and see what happens? Absolutely. But I know that that's not going to work for her. Right? Because I've got to give her structure. I learned this pretty early on, by the way. Let me... Back up. When, uh, when Cindy and I were first uh, got married and everything, before I knew any of this, um, I like to go golfing. And so what I told Cindy, I said, I'm going to go golfing with the guys. And she goes, what time are you going to be home? And I said, probably about 7. And she goes, okay. So I go golfing with the guys. And I come back. And it's, a, like, it's like 20 after 7. And she meets me at the door. And she goes, where you been? And I'm like, I was, like, I was golfing. I was golfing with the guys, and, and, and she goes, you're late. She goes, you ruined the whole night. <laughs> See, because a blue, it doesn't register. There's no way that 20 minutes either side of anything can ruin anything. <laughs> right? Why? Well, because why? Because I said seven. She, I said probably about seven. She heard, her green self heard seven. So she made plans from seven to 7.45. More plans from 7.45 to 8.30. And then tentative plans after 8.30. And when I miss the first 20 minutes, I ruin the entire night. Again, no way can this compute to a blue. Because I'm thinking probably about 7 means anywhere between 7 and 10.30. That's what I'm thinking. Right? So, I learned that. Then, then what happened was, I learned this stuff. And I thought, oh, now I got it. Now I know what I did wrong there. So then I would go golfing with the guys and I'd say, She'd go, what time are you going to be home? i go, probably about 8.30. Knowing that I'd get home right around 7. But I gave myself a little bit of extra time so I'd get home, take a shower, in case she made any plans. Because I knew they wouldn't start until 8.30 then. Right? And it worked beautifully. It was awesome. I'd get home at 20 after 7, 7.30, 7.45 sometimes. 
Plenty of time we'd go 8.30, she'd have plans. Right? It was great, it was awesome until I taught her this stuff. <laughs> then it really messed things up because she goes, what time are you going to be home? I go, oh, probably about 8.30. She goes, is that blue time? <laughs> Crap. All right. Hey, listen, one more thing. Um, I've, I've learned this. If you could go to one thing, if you could, every time you go someplace, gang, if you could pick up one piece of information that might be able to help you, okay? Have a better life tomorrow than the one it is you have today. Create a bigger business tomorrow than the one you have today. Or, or create a better relationship with someone than, than what it is you have today. Just one idea from tonight's conversation. Um, I think it would be a successful night then. All right? And hopefully you've gotten at least one piece of information that would be able to help you thus far tonight. And in, again, in closing, I want to give you one piece of information that I heard 16, 17 years ago from a guy that I've I just... I went, my father-in-law is uh, a pastor, and we had uh, heard a speaker one time, went to a pastor's conference, and uh, we had heard a speaker one time talk about this, and it stuck with me, and it's helped me build an incredible, um, it's helped me a great deal in my communication skills with people in my business and outside my business. And here's what he said. He said, men and women, this is the only time that I'm going to genderize it all, because everything else is colors, but he says, men and women talk differently. So I'm just going to give you this, I'm going to share this one piece of information, hopefully it'll help for you. But men and women have a tendency to have different speech patterns. And it has helped me a great deal. Let me explain it to you this way. He said, men have a tendency to speak in the form of a knotted rope. Their speech pattern is they talk about a topic or a subject from one knot to another knot to another knot, and they don't necessarily connect with one another. They just are it. Like when I take my buddy, when I go golfing with my buddy Dan. We'll go golfing. And I'll say, you know, on the first tee, I'll say, hey, Dan, um, how are you? Good. You know, how are the kids? And Dan will say, the kids are good. We're on our first knot. Right? And he says, the kids are good. And I'm like, good. Good. That's, that's really all I need is good. I don't need to know really anything too much more than that. That's, that's the first knot. And I'm, I'm good with that. Then we'll go a little bit further and we'll say, nice shot or whatever. And we'll talk about maybe his work. How's work? Good. That's really all I need. I don't need any more. That's it. That's all. That end of knot. Right? Then I'll go to the next one and maybe talk about something else, brewers, bucks, badges, whatever it might be. And, and it, you know, that's it. When I get home, Cindy goes, how's Dan? And I go, Dan's good. Because he's good. <laughs> right? And she goes, how are the kids? And I'm like, good. Kids are good. She goes, that's all. Just good. She goes, you, don't have any you just spent four hours with him. And that's all you got is good. You don't talk to me. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. I, I do, but see, women have a speech pattern that looks like this. Right? They have a tendency to talk in the form of a spider web, where everything's connected to one another. True story. Cindy meets Sue, Dan's wife, in the parking lot, at the mall, side to side, window to window, three minutes. Okay? They roll down the window and say, hey, Pat's playing golf with Dan. Yeah, I heard. Cindy goes, hey, Sue, how's Dan? Dan's doing great. His sister's getting married. Really? To who? Some guy in Denver. Denver. I remember, I love Denver. We went to spring break in Denver. We had a great time. We had lunch at the mountaintop and everything, and the lady took care of us and everything. I remember that view. Sue says, I remember when you went to Denver. That's when we went to Orlando. Because that's where Dan's sister met this guy in line at the teacup rides. And now I'm here at the mall trying to get the purple shoes to match the purple dress. All the, so in order to find out how Dan was, we had to go to Denver, then we had to go to Orlando, Cindy. And Sydney's telling me this, right? And I'm trying to follow her a little bit. And so, right, watch that. I feel like that guy right there. Okay? Here's the thing I learned. The thing I learned through the whole process is, guys, we got to let the ladies spin their spider web without knocking out of the air with a, with a knotted rope. We just have to. And I mean, the, the most you might be able to get away with is, honey, can you get to the point? And even then you have to duck, all right? At least around me. <laughs> But you've got to let that sort of play out. And ladies, just let me give you a little bit of advice, from, at least from me to Sin, anyway, is that, hey, listen, here's the deal. Sometimes all we got is good. <laughs> There's nothing more there, okay? So just sort of that way. And I, I hope that helps you a little bit here and there. Um, it certainly made a big difference in my life as I look at all the different communication things that I've done over the years. So here, here's what I hope. Uh, I hope but the yellow side of me hopes you liked what you heard tonight. Did you like what you heard? All right, what you got? What do you got? All right. 
The green side of me says, I hope you learned something. How many of you think you might have learned a little bit of something about you or others? Okay, good. The blue side of me says, I hope you had fun. Anybody have fun with it? Good, I know I did. I know I did. And the red side of me says, I really don't care if you did or not. So, if you want more information, you can go to www.pathints.com. Or pat at pathints.com is, uh, is my email address and so forth. You can go and get the information. All I do this for is to help people create bigger businesses tomorrow than the one they got today. And maybe improve a little personal relationship that you have with somebody or somebody that you care about. All right? um, at the bottom right-hand side of the chart, or of the website, you can go down to the little colors logo and click on it, and it will give you a test. And I adapted it a little bit for our industry and stuff like that. It uh, gives credit where credit's due. But there's basically some questions that you can answer there. And then you can sort of see what your green side is, what your blue side is, red side, and, and yellow side is. It's sort of a lot of fun as far as, as, far as a uh, self-examination is concerned and an encouragement to maybe uh, have a better understanding of how we can go communicate with other people. So, again, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, spending your time with me. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Please drive careful on the, home, on the way home tonight, and uh, we'll see you at the top somewhere. All right? Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Very cool. Thank you.